Actually, what interested me was the uh, the dichotomy and the conflict between Seneca the man and Seneca and discourse, and the idea that um, all his dilemmas, political, personal, philosophical, would come to a head in one long night, a night that, of course, ends with his death. So, um, but yeah, he was uh, definitely a compromised, compromised human. And it's true, he, he talks a lot. <laughs> um, <laughs> And sometimes it was hard not to think, okay, but die, and <laughs> now be quiet. Um, but um, I, it's, that's part of the job. I mean, you, you have to be prepared, and nowadays the way they shoot films, you really have to be prepared in advance because in, in olden times when I started, you mostly sat there for many, many hours while various world-renowned cinematographers lit a thing and you worked a few minutes a day. Now you shoot pretty much all the time. So it's a very different uh, experience. And there's really almost no downtime. So um, it was just a matter of being prepared before we started. But I, I grew up in the theater, so that has a lot of talking, generally. Yeah. There were elements in this script, which I don't think are in the film, of uh, modern songs, uh, popular songs. Mm -hmm. yeah, song. And um, I may have added a song or two, um, <laughs> and the director, I believe, judged those to be not wholly necessary. Um, and, uh, but no, no improvisation. We, we went over the script pretty carefully. I think the dance scene was, yeah, that was kind of an... Yeah, that, but okay. no, I mean, movement is often improvised depending on what the shot is because you really don't do the same thing in every shot, that's not how film happens, really. But uh, yes, we did have our dance sequence, Lilith and I, and I expect to be getting some choreographer um, <laughs> offers quite soon. <laughs> Lilith, the dancing scene, <clears throat> how was it? I felt like Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> People do make films hoping that they might change things. And in fact, they don't. I mean, the rich are always the rich, and they become richer, and the poor are poor, and they become poorer. And things, and war exists, and earthquakes exist. And, and uh, I, I don't really want to add anything. I mean, it's just things haven't changed at all. I mean, my father made uh, The Great Dictator, I guess, 70 years ago or something like that, and he thought that would change the world. And it only made people laugh, which is great. I mean, it's great to laugh. Laughter is the, mm -hmm. the greatest uh, enemy that you can have and the greatest weapon that you can have. And, and this film is very funny. I mean, I think it's very funny. You never die. <laughs> and you yeah. think dying is so easy. You just kind of yeah. vain. And, mm -hmm. and then you never die. And it goes on and on and on. Mm -hmm. And you think, oh. And the, and the camera zooms in and, and, and on your face. And you think, oh, he's going to pop his clogs now. Mm -hmm. And then he doesn't. He doesn't. He keeps on going. He keeps <laughs> going and going. And that is, this last 20 minutes are hilarious. I think hilarious <laughs> in a different way. Well, I try to uh, find a, a specific form for the content whenever I make a film. And it seemed to me that a film about a human being who is uh, so theatrical and uh, whose life is so performative, uh, you know, it would, it would be a good fit to make the film itself very theatrical as well. Um, you know, we built a catwalk basically in the in the house for him to prance up and down. I mean, we went, took it pretty far to make our point. 
Um, but again, um, you know, it seemed like for someone who turned his life and death into a performance, that would be, you know, a good way to tell to tell the story. And um, as far as the camera is concerned, um, you know, when Tony Richardson did uh, Tom Jones, uh, he made a pact with his cinematographer, and they said the more accurate and authentic the costumes are and the scenery, uh, the more modern the camera will behave. And I thought that was a really interesting thought uh, approaching a historical narrative mm -hmm. and, uh, and, a, and another tool to make, uh, to make an aggressively anachronistic film. Thank you.